Hey there everyone, my name is Pritam and I welcome you all to Technoholic. In this video, we will talk about how we can download Office offline setup. This is sometime very important guys, especially when we want to install in multiple devices. Okay, so just to get started quickly, here you can see I already logged into my office.com account and if I click here on install the app, it going to give me an online setup that going to automatically download everything from internet and will install office in this system but sometime what happen is we need to install office in multiple devices so in those system you know there could be some limitation for example we do not have that much amount of bandwidth or maybe you do not want to download the setup again and again okay the situation could be anything but let's see how we can get started before we proceed further if you are new to our channel then i would recommend you to kindly subscribe to this channel so that you do not miss these kind of productivity videos that are going to add some value to your life now coming back to our main topic which is how we can download this offline setup for that you need to visit this page or i would say this link which is office deployment tool and i will show you the complete tutorial how we can customize it and get the offline setup that we are looking for Okay, the first thing you need to do is you need to visit this link that I will be providing you in the description of this video. From there, you need to click on download. Let's say you want to download it in different language. Then from here, you can change your language and country as well. I'm going to keep it as it is. So let me click on download. After the setup got download, what we need to do is we simply need to run it now you need to accept the terms and condition and then click on continue and then here you need to create a folder where we will be extracting the files that this office deployment tool will generate so i'm going to choose my desktop here and then i'm going to create a new folder which i'm going to keep name as odt which is office deployment tool and then we're going to click ok now what we're gonna do is we will be opening that folder that we have just created so this was the folder and these are the files that we have extracted into it now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna choose office 365 64 bit installation configuration since most of us i am assuming going to use this one let's say you are an enterprise user then you can choose enterprise xml instead of this one now what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna open this xml file with notepad for that you need to make a right click and then go to open with and then from here you can click directly to notepad or else you can click on choose another app and then choose notepad and then um let's say you always want to open xml file inside notepad then you can choose always now here we go here is the customization part so here we can see this is the configuration that start from this bracket and end here and then we can see it going to add uh, office client edition of 64 bit which is what we want and the channel as current channel which is i would say the current stable release and then the product id here we can see is office 365 pro press retail now the language here is english us and you can always change this language again um there is a proper documentation from office side uh, which you can uh, read i'm gonna provide you these links also if you want to go in depth and then from here you can see you know different different languages available for example let's say you want to go with deutsch or german you can choose this one and what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna simply replace this language id with de so that's how guys we can change its configuration but i'm comfortable with english us so i'm gonna roll it back and going to keep it like this so i was just telling you how you can customize it so this is standard 365 pro plus retail and then there is an additional application of visio pro retail let's say you do not need it so you start selecting from product id and then delete to this close tag of product so just delete that and in this way guys it will not install a visio to your office configuration now what if i would like to exclude some of office app let's say most of the time i am using word excel and powerpoint i am not using other application then um how we can you know exclude some of app 
for that there is an option available for example here we can see we can use this exclude app id we just need to simply copy this and then let's go back here and then here i can add this id so in this way guys we can customize it let's say you also do not want to install excel just in case i don't know why one would not like to install microsoft excel but let's say um if in case then you can simply write excel in this way guys we can completely customize this xml file okay so after we completely customize it and then if you want to see for more variable then again as i said i'm gonna provide you the link in the description of this video from there you can see the whole new level of customization for example let's say you do not want OneDrive. So I can actually select it and then again, let me actually add it here. So additional to excluding app of publisher, I'm gonna also exclude OneDrive. Now let me again click on file and save. And now let me close it. Now the next step is to download this custom setup that is specifically designed to meet my need. For that, I cannot simply, you know, just double click and start downloading. For that, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna run CMD and then I will be running it as administrator. And then I'm gonna copy this path and then I will type here CD, which is nothing but change directory. And then I'm gonna paste the path. And in this way, guys, I will be in this folder. Okay. So these steps are really crucial and some people may find it difficult. So a lot of time we make mistake here. So I would suggest you to, you know, see these steps very carefully guys now the next thing what i'm going to do is i'm going to change or rename this configuration xml file just to you know make it simple so if you are newbie then i would suggest you to repeat the same step to simplify it i just going to give this configuration a name as a.xml now let's go back here in command prompt now you need to type following command which is setup.exe which is nothing but the name of this setup file and then i'm gonna make a forward slash so make sure that you are making correct slash these are the backward slash this is forward slash and then i'm gonna type download and then you do not need to add any space here just keep space in between setup.exe and then no space after this forward slash and now again make another space and then you need to write your xml file name so in our case it is a.xml so make sure that you rename your xml file to a so that you do not fail this step this step is really crucial guys so i'm gonna write a.xml now let me hit enter so basically what this will do it will start downloading office setup now let's just wait for a while so you can see here the office folder appeared and then um you can always check using your task manager that you can get by pressing Control, shift and skip so this will open task manager you can also open it here by clicking on menu button and simply type task manager so this will actually let you know uh, you know the data that you are downloading from internet so here we go here we can see some of the data is getting downloaded so this is nothing but your office files let me actually keep it here and now we will wait for the setup to get downloaded and the another way to verify this you can see the size of this folder will keep on increasing whole setup will get downloaded so currently size on disk is 521 mb and then the files are five and two folders now again if i check this now you can see the size on disk is 0.97 gb now let's wait for the whole setup to get downloaded and you can continuously monitor your network to see if everything got downloaded or not. So if you have fast internet, this will for sure get downloaded very fast. And there we go. We can see all the files now got downloaded and I can see there is no further downloading taking place. To verify this, whether we have downloaded complete setup or not, I can again go to office properties. And then I can see here size on disk and size is 
almost same this again confirms that you know we have successfully downloaded office offline setup so that's it this is what you need to install your office now let me actually um you know copy it let's say i want to share it with someone i can compress it to zip file let me do that actually and meanwhile i also would like to install it in this device so for that one can simply open this office folder okay so after we have successfully downloaded this what i'm gonna do is i'm going to run another command which is setup.exe and instead of download here you need to write configure just write configure and then hit enter so this will basically start installing office application to your system now we just need to wait for a while for this whole process to get ended and let me also quickly show you how you can run this offline setup in another system so that's the value that we are getting for that i would recommend you to just simply copy this whole folder and then you know you just need to run these both command again but make sure that before running these both command you also need to be in this directory so just copy you know whatever the directory you have pasted in to make it more simplified i would recommend you to keep this in c drive and then simply copy the path and then um, open cmd as administrator type cd and then simply repeat the same command which is cd which is change directory and the path which you will get from here and then you need to run these both command make sure you change your xml file name to a so that you can repeat the same command as i have shown you here now you can also see our office is about to install so let's wait for a while and there we go here in right hand lower corner we got this message which says that office installation is completed and the same we can also see it here as well now let me quickly close it now we need to click on menu button and need to open any office application and now after opening your office application first thing you need to do is you need to go here in account and then you need to sign in with your office 365 account once you sign in you will see that everything else is automatically configured in your system that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational i tried to make this tutorial as easy as possible even if you have any doubt then feel free to ask me in comment down below and if you find this tutorial have created value in your life then i would recommend you to subscribe to our channel to see more such videos that are going to help you in your day-to-day -day productivity and i will catch you soon in another video till then take care and bye bye